Today we're going to talk about fractions, decimals, and money and how they are all related. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to review over our American money system here. We have our $1 bills. Notice we have a dollar. This is how we would write it as in terms of money. This is how it would be written as words, as one whole. When we're talking about fraction-wise, it'd be one whole for one whole dollar. So here's the back of a dollar and the front of a dollar. Then our next one here, we have quarters. Quarters are a quarter of a dollar, and that's why it's called a quarter. A quarter is equal to one-fourth, which would be a fraction in words, and 0 0.25 cents so 25 cents and here we have our dime front and back a dime is worth 10 cents and is one tenth down here we have our nickels nickels uh, nickel is worth five cents or one twentieth or five one hundredth of a of a dollar and then down here we have our pennies penny is worth once again one cent and is one one hundredth of a dollar here we're going to relate money fractions and decimals so as you can see in our picture over here we have two cents or two pennies each worth one cent. So on our chart, that is going to be the same thing as two of those boxes colored in. That's our one hundreds chart. So our fraction would be two one hundredths because one hundred pennies make a dollar our decimal is going to be zero because we don't have any dollars point we don't have any tens tenths so zero two because we have two pennies in the hundredths place in terms of money, now, uh, students in the past uh, have done money in with a two and our cent sign. That, we're not going to concentrate on that anymore. So we're going to put a circle around that and across through it. We're not going to do that. We're talking in terms of dollars here. So in terms of dollars, our money amount we have our dollar sign and then we have our zero point zero two and if you notice the only difference between our money amount here in terms of dollars and our decimal is our dollar sign which tells us we're talking about money On this next one here, we have a few more cents here. I'm going to go ahead and write off the amount of money which we have off to the side here. So for some of our students who are new to the country and just learning, we're going to do, this is, would be 10 cents. This would be 1 cent. This would be 1 cent. So then we add that up. We have our 10, 11, 12 cents. So we have a total of 12 cents or 12 one hundredths. So on our chart here, we're going to take 10 of these and two more to give us 12. Now we have 12 tenths or 12 hundredths on our hundredth chart. So our fraction is going to be 12 
one hundredths. Our decimal is going to be zero, because we don't have any full dollars, point. And then our tens, we have one ten up here. So for tenths, we're going to have our one. And then to represent our two cents, or two one hundredths, we're then going to put in our two for a decimal of 0 0.12. Now, as in terms of money, once again, we're talking in dollars, so we need our dollar sign. And we're going to put in our zero dollars point one two for our twelve cents on this next slide we're going to I'm going to write the amounts we have a quarter a quarter is worth twenty five cents we have a nickel which is worth five cents. We have a dime, which is worth ten cents. And we have a penny, which is worth one cent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this in here. I'm going to draw my 25 first. So there's 10. And 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25 cents, plus another 5 cents, that gets us to 30, plus another 10 cents, it's going to have us at 40, plus 1 cent. Okay, so I have 41 cents total there. And so as our fraction, it's 41 out of 100. If you notice, we have 100 squares here, little squares here. We have 41 of them shaded in. So our fraction is going to be 41 one hundredths. Our decimal is then going to be zero dollars, zero dollars, and then we have a one in the ones in the hundredths place because our our number is forty one, so we have a one in the hundredths place and a four in the tenths place which gives us 0 0.41. On our last one here, we have our money. So I'm going to put our dollar sign. And we're going to have $0.41 in terms of dollars. On our last slide here, we've added a dollar to the mix. So this time we do have a full dollar. So in order to have a full dollar, that means we have that dollar is worth 100 one hundredths. So that's going to be a complete whole hundredth chart. I'm going to fill this in really fast here. And then I'm going to count by our quarters. So our quarters are worth 25 cents. So there's one quarter. I'll use the five from that. Do another two of these for two quarters. And now I have one more quarter. three quarters and 
two cents. So this time we do have a whole number. So our whole number in our fraction goes right next to the fraction. So we're going to write a one whole and if we count this up again we have our 25 plus 25 which equals 50 plus 25 which is 75 76 77 so it gives us 77 over 100 so 1 and 77 hundredths our decimal is then going to be a one for our dollar and then we have 77 hundredths so a sev the last digit the last digit here is going to go in our hundredths place and then we move to this digit here we'll go in our tenths place so that also happens to be a seven so 1.77 will be our decimal and then our money, we're going to put in our money sign. And we're going to do a 1 for our dollar. 0.77 for our 77 cents. So 1.77. And that's how we relate our fractions to decimals to money.